Hello there, this community, and welcome back to another World Tanks Conservator. So in this video, I'm going to be driving the tier 10 British medium tank, the FV-402. So this is one of the two tier 10 British medium tanks that you can get from, from the Centurion 7 one, the Centurion Action 10. It's the other one, which I've already done a video on, and now it's the 402's turn. So the 402 is, let's talk about the 402. The 202 has a weird name. The 202 is small, but it's decently armored with 120 millimeters of upper hull armor, and it's pretty angle. And the turret armor is 200 all the way around the tank. What makes this tank special, though, is the gun. The gun is because it gets hatch. So let's talk about the shell types it gets. Well, the penetration it gets. 268 on its standard penetration, 210 on its premium, which is hash, and its regular high specs gets 105 damage. Its standard shell is 390 damage, its hash does 480, and its regular high explosive does 480. But why load regular high explosive when you can load regular hash? Do more damage, well, do the same damage with more penetration with the same great shell velocity speed of 1173 which is really really good for a high explosive round so yeah also this tank gets 10 degrees of gun depression 2.1 second aim time 0.32 accuracy and a really ton of ammunition it gets 72 rounds good luck running out of ammunition with this tank because you're not. And smacking people with while using the advanced loader so you can switch between your APCR. Yeah, APCR and hash round just makes this tank feel really, really great and it maximizes the damage that you can do. So yeah. And I get both of those kills. And yeah. What else? The mobility is actually quite lacking on this tank. Well, it's decent. It goes 54 20 in reverse with a power to weight ratio of 20.26. It gets also an amazing V range of 410. So, yeah, you got a lot of things going for the 402. You got the gun going for it with its special hash rounds. I know some people are not going to like it, the gun, because you don't have premium rounds with high penetration. You only, the max penetration that you have is your standard rounds at APCR with 268. But 268, if you know weak points and stuff like that, you're definitely not going to need any more penetration than that. So, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah. Your turret armor can be pinned. So you got to rock back and forth with your turret armor while using your 10 degrees of gun depression. With the 120 millimeters of armor at the front of the hull, it is pretty decently great at blocking shots. Um, another thing is your side armor is 51 millimeters. Now, 50 mil 51 millimeters ain't that great, but it is a big difference. It is big from 50 to 51. One tiny millimeter makes a lot of difference in this game can make a lot of difference and if you compare this tank to the centurion action 10 the centurion action 10 gets 50 millimeters on the side this gets 51. that means the centurion action 10 can get overmatched by any gun that is 151 millimeter caliber or larger this tank can get overmatched by any tank that is 154 millimeters or larger and that excludes all 152s in the game. And there's a lot at tier 10. So yeah. Also, did you like the move I did on the Centurion R? I knew the speed of the tank. Actually, the plan was to shoot the Centurion R in the back of the tank. But it didn't really get to happen. Kind of confused the Centurion R and just made them go the opposite direction. And now... I want to actually put some, some of these hash rounds into good use by shooting the 212 Alpha. 
and when you get to actually pin your hash rounds, they feel really nice. Also, I forgot to mention the horsepower is 20.26, which makes it pretty decent at climbing hills. And I believe I am running traction system to make it a little bit faster. That goes about 55, I believe. Yeah. Here's a T95. I don't have high penetration premium shells. So my 260, I'm going to have to make my 268 work. Also, while in the meantime of dodging artillery shells. But I have hash. So I'm just gonna aim for the track to the T95 and just keep the T95 track in place, which is gonna give me track assist and load a hash at the back of the T95. And T95 is dead. And I got all the track assist from that. And the artillery finally spices a uh, shell into me. It's a T92 HMC that's off over here in the corner. And yeah, so far I've got three kills. 4,100 damage and 1,700 assists. Pretty much all of that. Well, it's 2,100 assists. Pretty much all of that is from that T95 I tracked. So yeah, um, Fortitude 2 is a great tank. If you try it out, especially if you grind through this line, it's good. It's a different playstyle than the for uh, the Centurion Action 10. Anyway, that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to stop fish because more is not. And peace out. See ya.